Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Alex here with another reaction video with a Patreon request uh, this time and we are gonna jump into it and read the message. Um, it comes from James, uh, who says like this, Hey Alex, since we'll enjoy your content, it's my second month of being a patron on your channel. Thank you very much, James. And um, I have a particular request for you. I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description. It's a concert for Christmas even if it's, it, if it's a little bit early. Well, not, not quite, so we are in the Christmas mood already. And I'm talking about Angelina Jordan. I know you have a lot of reactions to her, 73 actually on the playlist. Um, and this one, they're gonna be a mix of couple of songs and interviews inside. Oh, that's cool. Um, I hope you're gonna react to it. Thank you very much for what you're doing. Keep up the good work, okay? Thank you very much. I'm going to open the link right away, which I'm going to leave down below in the description. I'm seeing here the video is from Joy Far One. So go and show some support over there as well. And it's a long video. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys are going to stick with me until the end uh, and see what, what is going to be. Enough talking because it's already, I'm seeing now I see the minutes, how, how long it is. But I hope we're gonna enjoy it, and if, it, if it's for Christmas, maybe you're gonna, uh, you know, uh, get in that Christmas mood, uh, which is gonna be uh, really, really cool. Like, subscribe, of course, you know the drill if you want to do that. Let's go. Thank you okay. so much, everybody. Merry Christmas to everybody tuning in all over the world. Literally, I'm, uh, I'm seeing people from all over the world. Italy, Norway, of course, Australia, uh, the Middle East. Um, all over the place. We're here. Thank you for tuning in to Angelina Jordan's live stream. And this is her band that she's been playing with tonight. And we literally kind of put this last, together last minute. So we're so glad that you joined us. I'm so glad these guys joined us. That's for sure. We have Santa Claus on my left. <laughs> ah, just kidding. No, this is, I, I'm going to introduce everybody real quick. And then I'm going to uh, talk to Angelina a little bit here. But this is Chuck Berghofer. He's our bass player and literally one of my idols in life. And I was a bass player in college, and I, I first met Frank this guy, Sinatra which they bassist. probably don't even wow. remember, but during Frank Sinatra duets. He was Frank Sinatra's bass player for a long time, and now he does all the big records around town like Michael Bublé and Seal, and um, we'll talk about more of that. Um, so we're so happy to have Chuck Berghofer here. And, of course, on Angelina's right, we have my good friend Jimmy Z, who's playing sax. And Anthony harp. James, Dr. Dre, Rob Stewart. Monica Hart wow. in the biz, as we say. Um, but Jimmy and I go back to the night. I go back to the, I'm not going to say how long, with all these guys. But Jimmy uh, toured with Etta James and has played with Angelina before. But he toured with Etta, I don't know, should I say 16 years? Wow. Well, uh, 16 years with with one of our idols, Etta James, of course, and he's played with Rod Stewart and uh, toured with Eurythmics. He's played stadiums all over the world. We're so lucky to have Jimmy Z. Then, of course, uh, probably, in my opinion, one of the greatest drummers in the world and eight-time Grammy winning, uh, is it eight or is it nine Grammys? Eight Grammys. Wow. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be nine. He's, uh, hopefully we'll get one this year for Greg Field, one of the amazing drummers of the world who has played with everybody, obviously from Sinatra and Buble and, and Ella and Seal. And um, we were just talking about some other ones recently. Um, real quick, give me one or two of the new ones. We, uh, you know, it sounds like I can't keep a job. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, you know, I don't, I don't play drums much anymore. I actually spend most of my time producing, and um, it really felt great to get back here and play. Chuck and I have been working together for over 30 years now. We were with Sinatra for six years, and as you were saying, Rob, we did the uh, the Sinatra duets records together. But um, for me, it's it's a, he's the perfect bass player. Uh, I so enjoy working with him. So for us to be able to come here and play, along with Shelley Berg, who is our the third party of this uh, crazy group that we get to play with. And uh, uh, recently, um, I produced Josh Groban, uh, Plaza Domingo, Ariana Grande. Uh, so it's pretty pretty diverse. Whatever what comes kind out of there. people and, over there? Wow. Um, I have noticed all this fun stuff that your family has put up here, thanks to, of course, Mary and Sarah and the whole family. But you know what? Look, let's all have a little toast to Angelina with our fancy Christmas uh, mugs. We had a little hot cocoa. Chuck, my friends. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Cheers. 
Yeah. Rob, <laughs> thank you so Congratulations much. Congratulations. Cheers. Yes. Cheers, I was saying earlier, these, these marshmallows are bigger than my head. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it is. It's delicious. I'm going to stop for a little bit over here. This was, like he said, a, a live stream. I'm so sorry I missed that when, when it was. It, it will be so cool. You know, I don't know if it was really, like, in... Uh, the, the day of Christmas or whatever or one day before or one day after but really really cool and I like the atmosphere and those people over there the musicians that are there at at the highest level and what Angelina deserves of course to play with the best and the best and this this two songs that were at the beginning were wow out of this world really really in the sound and her voice and their playing awesome I haven't had a coco in a while one more. Um, okay, so literally, questions are flying in from all over the world, and I know that some people had written in some questions. Poor Vu, Angelina. So, um, one thing that I wanted to talk about is, uh, what do you like to eat during the holidays, and do you have any like uh, traditions from Norway? Well, um, the tradis the tr like Christmas traditions from <laughs> the Norway. Christmas traditions. And Norway is a little different, but I mean, the similarities are pretty much like the same. Like um, here in the U.S., we celebrate in the, the, the 25th, right? Yeah. Uh, but there we do it the 24th. Yeah. And um, we don't actually open the presents in the morning. Uh, we do it in the, in the night evening time. <laughs> when does Santa is, come? Santa comes in the nighttime okay. instead of like um you know what happens here in the u.s but um it's just you know so cozy gathering with the family and um you know just have lots of fun and eat good food and also um i don't know if you've tried before what it's called glug glug I, yes. I, I, I don't know I what that is okay. we can share this mic I think you can hear uh, both of us on this mic but I've yeah. tried it and we have some of it here which is delish but it's been yeah. years since I've had it so tell them about glug yeah What's that? so it's a very um, special like a holiday drink okay. uh, which we drink in the Christmas time and it's called glug <laughs> and that's that like a, do I say it right glug yeah yeah glug. you do <laughs> <laughs> yes. How's it spelled? Um, it's so it's G L and then it's a Norwegian alphabet with like the uh. Um, it's, it's complicated. It's a long story. Right. But and then it's uh, two G's. But yeah. Well, it's delish. Okay. <clears throat> yes, and you know it's just about having. It's like it's it's a time where you know everyone is home and spending time with the family and just lots of happiness and. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, here, let me ask a few questions. And uh, like I said, I'm going to get to the guys in a second here, but I want to get to some of these questions from around the world. Um, okay, I'm just kind of going at random here. Rene de Vries, uh, it looks like from in France. Ooh. Uh, is there something you are looking forward to particularly for the coming year? Yes. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to come with more music out. I've been working with lots of, of my original music and uh, hopefully they will come next year, 2022. And I'm, I'm really excited to share it with you all. Um, yeah. And you've been writing some songs. Yes, too. I do write my own music. Um, and that's, that's really exciting because I'm working on my album right now. And, um, and you've done a lot here too. Yes, we've done that too. at the North Pole. <laughs> um, I I did want to say we have switched the interview portion to the North Pole because of uh, yeah. budgets yeah. and labor cuts and stuff. We had to we had to move uh, save money. We're doing this live from the North Pole right now. But you did at the studio Million Miles. We did a, a really nice version of that here. Yes. I reacted to that um, by the way. Heaven. Those mm -hmm. both came out, the singles, and they're great singles. And you co-wrote those, mm -hmm. and they're excellent. Thank you so much. Yes, I I just feel like songwriting is a way of expressing my feelings more than, like, I'm not 
really like a talkative person, so I, I like to express mm -hmm. my feelings through the songs that through I write. Through the lyrics, yeah. And, and millions of people are watching, and the comments are just amazing, and I know that you appreciate your fans all over the world. Um, so I'm sure you want to wish them a Merry Christmas all over the world. Yes, Merry Christmas to you all. I love you guys, and I can't wait to um, have concerts all over the world and see you all, your beautiful face faces. <laughs> well, how about that? All right, let's do a couple rapid fire, and then we'll get to questions with the guys here. Uh, this is a question from Johnny Jackson. Mm -hmm. Hi, Johnny Jackson. Uh, are you writing your own songs? Yeah. We just talked about that. Okay, so that's a yes. Check. Uh, rapid fire questions. Uh, Roger Andrus. Um, thanks, Roger, for writing in. Uh, and thanks for tuning in, of course. Uh, when you begin to build a U.S. concert tour, uh, an update on Grandma Mary. Oh, so am I writing, reading this? An update on Grandma Mary. We were all so concerned. Uh, Jason and Sue Williams. Okay, this is actually two questions. Forgive me. Uh, is there an update on Grandma Mary? Yes. Uh, first, I want to thank all of you for all the support and all the prayers i really okay i'm gonna pause for a little bit over here i don't know why i mean in that 2021 we we're talking here maybe her grandma had some problems yeah i'm not i'm not into that so that's why i'm enjoying this a lot not only because i'm knowing a lot of other um, inside things from uh, from angelina but also see kinds of mm, news or mm, uh, how should i call them you know about her grandma or she, she had any problems or whatever so that's why it's really really a cool interview by the way the full uh, and original link you can find it down below in the description really appreciate it it means the world to me uh my for the past two years since COVID start it's been crazy and it's been a weird year um i've had a lot going on with my grandma, um, but hopefully she she'll get better soon. <laughs> but um, yes, thank. So you. she was sick. I don't know if it was be because of COVID. Anyways, guys, you have more information. You, I'm sure you're gonna tell me down below about it. And I'm I'm glad that everything you know with uh, with her grandma, it's it's okay by now, of course. But yeah. Thank you. And she's here. She is here. She's my everything. <laughs> I love her so much. Um, well, Absolutely. yeah, and Mary, we're, we're thinking about you always, and we love Mary, everybody. Yay. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite cover that you've sang? And that's from uh, Lisa Sue. Hey, Lisa Sue, Merry Christmas. What's your favorite oh, cover song you've That's sang? a difficult that's question. That's a tricky song because, like, they're all amazing, and I, I love all the s songs that I've covered till now um there's so many like that's a difficult <laughs> it's not one. like one i can specifically pick there's a good one coming up if you stick around and keep watching there's a really good one yes. I know you're gonna love. Yeah. okay yeah well you want me to say it? okay yeah. yeah so uh yeah we're doing you say by lauren uh diagle or is lauren daigle D daigle <laughs> um but honestly like I think one of my favorite song has to be like from either Billy Holiday or like Frank Sinatra. Yeah. I knew it. Speaking of, I I, I wouldn't say uh, um, Frank, but uh, Billy. I, I I kind of had that. I I was thinking I should say that or not. I I just gonna leave her to say. But I was thinking about one of the favorites because she she does the, those covers in an amazing way. <laughs> Speaking of, let's talk to the guys a little bit, because um, I did want to touch on Frank a little bit, because that's originally how I met Greg and Chuck, was um, with our friend Al Schmidt and Phil Ramone at Capitol Records, doing the duets records, and then I first met you guys at the Marriott Desert Springs for, I believe it was Frank's last show, he ever did. Yeah. And can you tell me about any like traditions maybe that uh, like did you do like Christmas shows with Frank or anything? Christmas shows uh, I, I, we probably did but I, uh, <laughs> I did so many. Is there any fun memories you want to share? Oh, every memory was a fun memory with him. It was uh, well first of all. Sorry to stop guys but how incredible 
this could be, you know, sitting there with some those people who played on the same stage with those names that are, you know, so big. It's mind blowing. I mean, crazy. I can go back a ways in, in the sixties. Um, I, I recorded a couple of things with him, and, and they, he asked me to go with him then. And Tommy Tedesco with the Wrecking Crew said, if you do that, kiss the studio work goodbye. So I didn't go. Then I waited. Uh, in the 80s, he called, they ca I got called again, and I, I was out with Barbara Streisand doing this thing. So I didn't go. And Barbara Streisand as well. I, I decided to go, and I didn't ask for anything. I just said yes. And uh, it was probably one of the greatest periods of time I've had. Um, I started with him in 1990. We used an English orchestra, and they were wonderful. And the harpist is my present wife now, so we've been married 25 years. <laughs> so every time I see a picture of Frank, I say, thank you, you know. And Junior was very helpful. Uh, Frank Sinatra Junior was conducting for us at that time, you know. But uh, Frank was getting toward the end, you know. And uh, thank God we got to play with him before he went, because there's nobody ever like him again, you know. That is awesome. And there's another connection because I know, you know, wow. um, Quincy was doing, Quincy Jones was doing charts, obviously, for Frank, and he had great stories about Frank. But um, I wanted to ask because, Angelina, you performed with Quincy as well, Quincy Jones. I'm sure you guys all have known him and worked with him. Yeah. yeah. Um, tell us about uh, Quincy Jones. When did you play with him? So um, I had a, I opened the show for him in the O2 Arena in nice. London. And it was just like an unforgettable moment. I will always have that memory in my heart. And uh, it was so amazing. I sang Fly Me to the Moon. Wow. I love that song. Oh, we know it. <laughs> did he, See, not did the he, song. Um, well, that was Count Basie, right? So did he ever do a chart for, he probably did that for Frank, maybe. Uh, Basie? No, did um, Quincy ever do that chart? Oh, yeah, no, he did a lot. Um, before I was Frank drummer, that was Basie's drummer when yeah. I was a kid. Um, and we would work with Frank two or three times a year. Um, but most of those arrangements, um, Fly Me to the Moon, oh, Quincy did a lot because they made, Basie and Frank made two records together and Quincy conducted both of them. But there were a number of writers besides Quincy. Uh, but a lot of the stuff that we all know and love was, uh, was Q. And it's, that's amazing. You sang at the O2 Arena with him. Yeah. Uh, um, and also, we want you to know that Angelina has been working with some new young producers that are doing an awesome job with her new music. Tonight's more, you know, this is Christmas. It's about traditions. It's about holiday music and jazz. And we just want to have some fun with some cats who can just wail and swing. We wanted to swing a little bit. You, you know, Rob, this is what's so weird is we never record Christmas music at Christmas time. Yeah. We make Christmas records in July and August, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> and so this is rather unusual. Normally we are uh, yeah. we're home <laughs> baking cookies. <laughs> and it's it's so great that you guys are tuning in because we threw this together so last minute. So thanks so much for tuning in. I'm going to keep going this way because um, Jimmy Z, my old pal, he – we've been – Guys, I don't know if you knew about this interview, concert, mixed up together for Christmas. But if you didn't, uh, I hope you're enjoying it. And it's, I enjoyed it a lot, not only because of the song that we're at the beginning, and I guess we're going to listen like they, they said, but, you know, a lot of amazing uh, uh, stories from, from with, with Sinatra and a lot of Johnny and a lot of other, you know, uh, something that I at least could never know. And like I said, seeing those people over there, those, those, those amazing musicians with their story and everything, it's like really, really amazing, amazing stream interview. I don't know how to call it, but really cool. Doing some Christmas gigs together lately, but um, there's a funny story he told me because he used to be, he used to play for Dr. Dre and, and you might know, uh, the little band NWA, a lot of big Christmas hits NWA had straight out of Compton, straight out of Christmas. Um, <laughs> but Dr. Dre said something that was funny to me the other day about sleigh bells. Uh, what were you saying about sleigh bells? Well, if you listen to a lot of Dre's recordings, 
he's he's always and it's was never during Christmas, <laughs> but I was in the studio with him about three years straight. There's always sleigh bells on him. Not all, not all every song, but pretty much a big percentage. I'm going, what's up with the bells? He goes, it's cool. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes sleigh bells on, you know. Who knew sleigh stuff. bells were so big in rap music? Just check it out, NWA. man. <laughs> um, did you actually see the movie Straight Outta Compton? Yes, I did. And as a matter of fact, that time period of the movie is when I was with Trey from 89 to Night, well, then Suge Knight came in when we were doing my record. I was signed to Ruthless Records with uh, from Eze e and Dre. They came to see me at the China Club of all places. I remember it well. And um, you know, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was funny about that Dre had sleigh bells on everything. Yeah, you know, well, Speaking you know, of Christmas connection there. Yeah. Um, but also, Jimmy, like I said, has toured with Etta James, who is one of Angelina's favorites. And But you should go look up some videos from like his tours. He's played Wembley Stadium. The Wembley Stadium Eurythmics video blows my mind, your solos on that. Uh, so you should look that up when you get a chance. Thank you. And also toured with Rod Stewart, who we also love. I was only in L.A. I got here around 1981. I was there six months, and... He saw me in a little club on the strip. It's a Viper Room now. It used to be called The Central. And um, I got with Rod. After, I didn't want to tell anybody. I know guys that lived here 10, 12 years hadn't done too much. But I was right in with him. And when I, we were working at the record plant. So I met Roseman and all that. And we wow. did a lot of all the records there for about five years, you know. And um, I met Rod Stewart right in this room, actually, and I he's one of my favorites of all time, as are all of it us. It was uh, like commando training. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> um, let's talk about, like, a few more Christmas. I have more questions from people, so many to get through, but I do want to talk about um, some modern record. You guys have been recording, like, with Buble Christmas stuff. You want to talk about that, Greg, recording with Buble? And yeah, um, it's you can't have more fun in the studio. Than recording with Michael Bublé, it's everybody's having a great time. It's great musicians. It's great arrangements, um, and he just you know to. he walks into the room and you know he fills it with joy. What I like, Chuck and I really love it when a singer does this. He stands in the middle of the room, right in the middle of the orchestra. So basically, what what there's not going to be any fixes, and when he's not singing in a booth, um, it's just he feels the magic of the band like you were singing tonight just standing right in front of us you feel that thing right it's different than if you're in a booth and you're isolated and yeah it's you know, that uh, connection what a compliment i want to give you angelina this is the first time we've met and worked together but <clears throat> and i'm not exaggerating this you have a gift for storytelling and the greatest singers that we've worked with buble um, certainly Ella Fitzgerald, certainly Frank Sinatra, for me, Luther Vandross, if you remember Luther. Um, basically, they were wired so that whatever they said, they meant. And Frank famously said, um, I never let my singing get in the way of my storytelling. <laughs> and I was really impressed. You've got a, a natural musical ability, but for me, it's the, the ability to tell a story. And you do it so organically and and it's effortless, and I'm just, I'm, I'm, I know Chuck feels the same way. It's you're just such a giant talent, and I'm, thank you so yeah. so much, Greg. That honestly means beyond the world to me. Like, it's so special coming from you, and I'm never gonna forget what you just said because it it means so much. Thank you so much. That's really so appreciate much. it. Thank, thank you. you from the heart. <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, imagine, guys. I mean, I guess she feels overwhelmed, you know, by because, like I've saying already three times, those are people uh, who played with the best of the best, with la creme de la creme, however you want to call it. So, but they see the natural talent in Angelina, and they are right. So, let's get to some more questions. Uh, let's get to some more questions from folks around the world. Um, let me see, going through, uh, what are some new projects you're working on? We talked about that, and um, by the way, go look up Million Miles if you haven't heard it yet. It's amazing. Go look up Seventh Heaven. We love those songs. I love Seventh Heaven. she co-wrote those. Um, this is from Boris Polonofsky. Boris Polonofsky. Okay, I, Boris, if I'm not mistaken, it's 
uh, an Angelina fan, which had a lot of uh, videos on the channel, which I reacted to, and uh, I have to thank him a lot. I did it in in the other videos. I I, I guess he's talking about him. Uh, there had been so many excellent performances done with Egil Clausen. Is that right, Egil Clausen? Do you have plans to perform with him again? Am I saying that right? Oh yes. Are, are you talking about my um, guitar player? Oh, oh okay. G I L. Yes, Egil. Yes. Um, I've been playing since I was like literally seven with him, and then touring with him like around the whole world. He's amazing. And um, yes, uh, answering your question, we will um, definitely play more shows and do covers together for sure he's i love him yeah he's amazing <laughs> all right let's let's do this let's do a couple rapid fire questions for um why don't you give her that mic jim real quick and we'll go okay. with some rapid fire Thank questions you. okay a couple rapid fire questions for angelina what led you to become a singer so music found me at a very early young, age young. and ever since that's like what I want to do my whole life like music means everything it's like it's like breathing for me and um yeah I I just I just feel like music has so much to do like it's it's so meaningful because in this world it shares love and it just it has stories behind each and every song and it just has a, a lot to say, you know? And it, We've talked yeah. about this before, too, and I've talked about this. Um, I think, you know, when people ask me or ask you guys about being in the music business and, uh, you know, if they should do this, if they should do that, I think yeah. if people even have to ask mm -hmm. about the it's not for them it's just it's so ingrained in your whole spirit in your blood it's just there's nothing else you can do and it, you just keep going you keep doing it and Ooh. you find an audience and believe me you know people people love you and like i said it's just one of those things it's just ingrained in your soul um okay rapid yes. fire um are there any other musicians in your family not really but my grandma she's my inspiration i love her so so much she is a multi-talented artist um, she's a painter actually and she's just inspired me so much my whole life like like ever since I wanted to sing she's always been you know supporting me and believing in what I want to do and I've just been so blessed to have my whole family uh, believing in my dream and that's so that's so nice and i'm sure family yeah. family like i said it, not only for angelina for a lot of other artists family it's really important because if they support you you can you can go further and she had her grandma which by the way she was saying she's she's a painter i remember the book that she uh, angelina wrote i guess the the, the the art is from from uh you know grandmother painted it if i remember correctly Yes. know about that <laughs> and um these guys probably don't know but you when you perform you always perform barefoot i am actually i have a funny story to tell you guys so um i had a concert like i think it was around christmas time and so i had a show in new york for the rainforest it was this huge concert and so like right before i'm going to stage I'm in the back backstage, and then I didn't know they had these mouse traps, and it was dark, so I, I couldn't see them. <laughs> oh no! And so um, I'm bare feet, and then I walk like towards the stage, and then I get stuck. I'm like, this is the story that she uh, told in an interview. I remember when she I, I it was a TV something and uh where she had her journal over there and she i remember that uh that i reacted to that wait what is happening <laughs> and then um you know i i let my mom know and 
my grandma Mary and Mike and I'm like hey I'm like stuck like it won't come out and the mouse trap it was like a super glue like and then the 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 lady that was presenting like me like please welcome Angelina and she's like <laughs> Angelina, like, <laughs> when when are you coming? <laughs> and then, oh, I was so, like, it, it really stressed me out because I really needed to go. And so, oh, my God, we had to bring, like, tissue paper and, like, water. And it was so stressful. But um, after, like, like it, it took a while. But I got onto the stage and I sang. <laughs> I thought she was saying about the story how and why she's singing barefoot. But... Uh, she was telling actually a, a story that happened on a stage when she was barefoot. That cool. Did yes. it hurt? I mean, was there some pain involved? Yes, it was. I actually got like, like some bruises on my feet because obviously the glue was so strong. Um, but you know, <laughs> that's uh, that's a un unforgettable. I'm gonna have. There's there's only. I have an upright bass in there. There's nobody in the world that I would let sign or do anything to this. There's one person in the world I would like to sign my upright bass. I'm going to let you talk amongst yourself. Talk about Seth MacFarlane. Talk about all your... Uh, hold on. Let me go grab it. This is going to be good. Keep going. Really? I'm trying to think. My God. I, I, well, tell the story about these boots are made for walking. Oh, I mean, God, the, yeah. the, the most famous yeah. bass line... In the history well, of bass yeah, lines, wow. and that was Chuck. 1966, I believe, and uh, Nancy Sinatra. And it was the, you know, a recording we're doing with her, several tunes. And this was the last thing we did. It was like a throwaway. They weren't going to do it even. No, no, let's, let's, we have time. Let's do it. So we did it, and it was Boots Are Made For Walking. And uh, that lick, you know, dee, 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 you know, I played... It will never. I can't believe anybody would remember it at this point in life, uh, that long ago. But it's still uh, unbelievable. So uh, there's not one job, and you can ask Greg about this. That I haven't thrown it in. Guys, it's an iconic, uh, not only song that that bass line. Of course, I have it in my head. And then the, that song was covered from a lot of other artists. But I can't believe it. You know, having there that person who actually did that. It's really, really outstanding. Somewhere, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just only because it's, uh, people still know exactly what it is, you know. Uh, and that, there's not very many things that long ago that you can remember, even, you know. Well, so. and you were also responsible for the second most famous line, which, if you remember TV from many years ago, Chuck came up with a baseline for a TV show called Barney Miller. Nobody remembers the TV show; some do, but. When you ever you hear that bass line, and well, that was on electric bass, right? Well, that was uh, I was doing Carol Burnett's show at the time, mm -hmm. and we had a three-hour lunch break, and I went over to TTG during that period of time, and I was playing a lot of electric bass then, and uh, we had this show to to do, and so we played the arrangement that they arranged, and then and the guy the the head guy come, came out and said. Well, you know, this this guy's a cop in New York. I, I like to just start with the electric bass playing something. And I played that lick, and that became oh, a big famous thing, which I didn't get paid for either, by the way. But they called me for every job after that. It took me a long time to figure out. I got paid, but, I mean, I, I didn't get, it wasn't my, I didn't own the music. But they hired me for every single thing they did oh, yeah. at the end. But, so. but wait, you got a bass behind you. You got to play the lick. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> Got to play the lick, gotta and then play, I'm going to have Chuck you, sign you my bass if the, you don't mind. These boots. And um, do you have uh, a couple minutes for a couple more rapid fire questions with Angelina? I'm going to give a few with her. Uh, of course. Just like two minutes, but let's get him to sign this. I, and of course, play the song. You play the do you know these boots are made for walking? Yes. Uh, these boots are made for walking. Yeah, I can't even turn Oh, well, I don't have the peg out. Oh, yeah, One of these that. days, these boots yes. are going to walk all over you. <laughs> Love. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. And that's iconic. Are you ready? Bravo. Wow. Bravo. Are you ready, oh boots? Oh, my God. <laughs>
something like that. I, I, Actually, yeah. could you guys hear Boots? Let's just make sure we get the mic on Boots yes. once I, These boots are made for walking. Yes. And that's just what they'll do. One, One of these, these days, days, these boots are down. gonna walk all over. Boots are made Thank you, Chuck Berghopper. Uh, um, yeah. Can you? Yeah. Do you want to sign the sign of it? Too? Hold on, wait, wait. One of these the, days, these right boots here. are gonna right walk out. And that's an honor, <laughs> you know, having that guy sign it. Yeah, that's a piece of history, right? I would never let anybody sign my bass, but there's only one person in the world who can sign my bass. Is that Sharpie working? Okay, Chuck. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yay. You saw it here. It's going straight to eBay. It's <laughs> 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 an NFT. <laughs> <laughs> you can always w rub it off too, because it's only. I've had I've had people uh, do yeah, stuff to my face by carving it into the. You know, say I've, that again. I've had carvings in bases before sometimes yeah. because you can wipe this off. You know that's all. Okay. Well, I am thrilled, and thank you so much for doing that. It's and it's I'm a tight space a over there. Let me get this out of your way and have yeah. a seat. Yes. That's your base? Okay. All right, a couple rapid-fire questions here, and we're going to let these cats go. Uh, who is your current – and we'll try and go through them quick. You ready? Yes. Uh, who is your current inspiration and role model? My – like, for as in, like, artists, I would say Adele. I really look up to her, her music, the meaning of the songs that she writes about, and – the storytelling we did a uh angelina and i did a cover on her I cover know. channel it was insane you're talking to the mic oh my god thank you so oh much. i'm sorry oh yeah <laughs> excuse me yeah no i was yeah i heard it it was incredible actually thank you so much that was it was the first big hit she had out this year right oh, yeah easy on and angie did yeah. it like the very uh, yeah, day I it know. came out or the next day yes. Yeah. yes see that's real old school because <laughs> there's a famous story about the beatles putting an album out on a Friday and on Sunday in London, Jimi Hendrix was covering it, and the Beatles were in the audience. They're like, "What the hell, yeah. right?" Wow. But um, yeah, no, it was. You sounded magnificent. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, a couple more. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> These are a few more from Ronaldo as well. Um, which singer would you like to meet, and why? I bet Adele is one of them, probably. Oh yes, yes, of course. Um, Oh my God! There. She met a lot of singers. That's that's a really that's a really hard question. <laughs> I bet you one of them. Th you know these microphones. Remember we talked about this. Yes, you you were talking about that the weekend. He was re Let's he recorded his full After Hours album on these two mics. Right? Yeah, as a matter of fact, these actual not these kind of mics. These actual these mics. These actual <laughs> mics. Yeah. Oh my God! That's mm -hmm. that's insane. <laughs> yes. Um, we like the weekend. He just did the Super Bowl yes, as well, uh, which He's was amazing. awesome. What is the best advice you've ever been given? Um, it would be from Quincy Jones that, like, always believe in yourself and don't like, don't let anything stop you from what you you're doing. You know. Exactly. Yes. Well said, Quincy. <laughs> and um, yeah, we love, we all love Quincy. And then we do want to shout out, of course, to our good friend Al Schmidt, who we all kind of worked with, and we love Al Schmidt. And and of course, Phil, Phil Ramone. These are guys that I wish you could have worked with. Um, they're the best in the biz. And that's how I kind of met these cats as well. Um, oh, Al Schmidt. Who had most Grammys? Twenty-two. He, he unfortunately passed away this year. Wow! But he recorded the original Moon River and Pink Panther. And by the way, Greg's father-in-law is the famous Henry Mancini, who won uh, the Oscar for. Uh, he won an Oscar for, uh, didn't he? For he Breakfast he at Tiffany's. Oscars for he won oh, two. I didn't know that. He won for the score for Breakfast at Tiffany's and Moon River for best song, wow. and then he um, won another one the next year for the Days of Wine and Roses, and then went. 25 years without winning an Oscar, and the last one was for um, a film called Victor Victoria with Julie Andrews, which was a great film, but yeah, he was pretty good. And Greg's wife is the great Monica Mancini, who is also an incredible jazz singer and a good friend of ours, and 
I love Monica's voice, and you've Thank produced you. some of her work as well, and it's stellar. You know, you know, y- if you can <laughs> produce your wife <laughs> over five <laughs> records, and she hasn't killed me yet, <laughs> it must be okay. <laughs> okay, a couple more, and we'll let everybody go. Uh, how do you prepare before going on stage? Angelina. Um, only good vibes, um, warming up the voice, of course, <laughs> and... Hot chocolate, of course, yeah. Uh, obviously, yes. <laughs> Hot chocolate and uh, being with my little sister, my mom, grandma, my amazing uncle, Michael, and, you know, just have this good energy before going on stage. And still, just to, uh, questions from all over the world. Um, here's one. Is there anything you miss from your childhood? Yes, a lot of things, but s- especially spending time with my grandpa. He, I had such good memories with him. He was the most amazing person in this world, so kind. And I just wish I had him with me like right now um spending christmas time with him but sadly he passed away um around two years ago um and i love i love him so much and i think about him every day um but actually uh in this period of the covid time um which were all tested and yes. vaxxed, all of us, and we um, just all got tested. My, uh, my uncle, he um, got a baby. Um, her name is Athena, and she's she'll be my niece. <laughs> and I, I just feel like she's brought so much light into my life, and she's, I, 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 I literally have like songs, like oh, that's that, that cool. I've that's written beautiful. about her, and like the love and all that and actually Michael got another baby <laughs> like a week ago I know congrats um, Mike and it's just so amazing being around mm-hmm. them um, well here cheers let's all give angels. a toast everybody to Mike's baby and of course yes. to grandpa <laughs> and to all our families at Christmas time <laughs> cheers brother yes, yes cheers. Cheers. cheers it's so heavy I don't think it is. Oh my gosh. So Cheers. 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 Hold on. Yes. Oh. Merry Cheers. Christmas. Yay. So, final thought I, there's a lot of people we want to thank, but of course, we want to thank Sarah, who's Angelina's mom, yes. and, and Sarah, Mike, Mike, and Mary, Mary, of course, and everyone at Republic, and Sean Phelan, who's back there recording this, and the whole crew. We thank you guys. Yes. Thank and you so of much. course, uh, Shelly Berg, who was playing incredible piano for us. And Victoria Fatu, who was, uh, she's played piano all over the world. And, um, oh, and I have to say one more thing about these guys. We played on, I think, one of the biggest Christmas songs of all time. Or not we, but you guys. Uh, I was able to produce you guys on Baby It's Cold Outside, which was the Dean Martin and Martina McBride version, which is oh, played yes, thousands and that, thousands yes. of times every year still. So go check out these guys playing on Dean Martin and Martina <laughs> McBride, Baby It's Cold Outside. It's awesome. It must have been the bass. <laughs> it must have been the bass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Chuck swings it, but thanks so much to Chuck Berghofer and yes, Jimmy Z, so, so Greg much. Field. And um, any final thought before we go? Uh, I just can't thank you all enough for coming. It means so, so much to me. And just sitting with you guys, with these legendary people, uh, and it means so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. So do we. Oh, we bless <laughs> yeah. you. And we can't wait to hear the new music uh, yeah. this year. And, and next year, next Christmas, you'll be 16 years old. Uh, you'll be well, old hat at this. Anyway. But wherever you are, anywhere in the world, we, we know you've been writing in from Europe and Asia and Australia and uh, I saw Middle East and South America. Mm-hmm. Wherever you are, peace on earth. God bless us all. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm going to stop a little bit over here until she starts singing. Guys, uh, I don't know if you stick until now, but it was really cool. Uh, it was really cool to hear, like she said, from all those legendary people over there, legendary musicians that played with other legendary musicians and, and, and arrangement and composers and whatever you want to call them. It was really, really cool. Then some other insights from Angelina as well.
it was really cool that cozy atmosphere it was like a not like an interview but more like a you know chat uh, next to the christmas table whatever and uh, you know telling stories and that's that's the thing that i really really enjoyed it so yeah let's hear she, she's gonna sing so this next song is a very special song to me it's actually been changing my whole life in many different ways um we we're actually not supposed to do this song um today but since a lot of you guys requested um to do this song we're gonna give it a shot <laughs> are you guys ready okay anywhere the wind blows doesn't really matter to me this one was the one from agt right me. Thanks so much, Shelly Bird, for coming out on our live stream for Angelina Jordan. What do you think of Angelina as a I, singer? <laughs> I She's think 15 years old. She's one of the most amazing talents I've seen come along in my oh career. God. Thank you and so I've been much. Doing, I've been doing this a while. You're fabulous. And it's you are uh, like five-time Grammy nominated? Is that what I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's awesome. It's so great to have you. And um, we... Things change all the time, and Shelly was able to jump in last minute and help with a lot of these charts and stuff, literally on the fly. So thank you so much for that. I'm so glad I got to do this. And you play with Chuck and Greg a lot, but like yeah. I know you did the White House nice. Christmas playing for the president. And yeah, stuff. several times. What was a that lot like? of stars. Yeah. Um, you know, talk about on the fly. Everybody from Aretha Franklin to James Taylor to Joshua Bell. You know, and and uh, you hope everything goes right, but you're filming live. And I remember one of the shows. The only person I wasn't playing for was Patti LaBelle. She had her own pianist. So I stepped off the stage, and they go, ladies wow. and gentlemen, Patti LaBelle, and her piano player's not there. Oh, wow. He had oh gone to the restroom, and he didn't realize <laughs> that the president was in the house, and you can't just walk back in. And the Secret Service stopped him. And so I saw there was no pianist, jumped up on the stage, Patty started singing, she turned around and it's like, oh, there's another guy on the piano. Wow. So, you know, you just, it was kind of like today. You jump yeah, in like and, and good things happen. Well, so wait, the Secret Service actually stopped him when he tried to come Oh back. yeah, he said, don't you know who I am? I'm wow. Patty LaBelle's piano player. I was like, sorry, the president's in the house, you can't come back through here. Yeah, now you're Angelina's uh, piano player. So I that, hope. That's gonna be <laughs> So thanks so much for coming, and um, Merry Christmas to you. And anything you want to add to having Shelly? How is it having him? I mean, it's an honor. Thank you so much for coming. It's, uh, I can't believe it, and I, it means a lot. 
and you're truly amazing. This is the first time we've met, so literally on the fly, he was helping us with stuff, and Victoria did a nice job on her track or two that she oh, was yeah. playing on, and um, we have more to come, so stick around. Absolutely, and uh, happy holidays, everybody. Thanks, Shelly. Okay, it cuts here in this. Uh... Wow, guys, it was a long video, but I guess it for me it worth it all the time because, like I was saying, uh, not only that I am in a Christmas mood right now with all this song, which I hope you are too. If you stick until the end, and if you like, the, if you know about this, didn't know about this, I don't know how to say it, but it was really, really captivating to hear uh, some other things that from Angelina that I didn't know, uh, other stories from that, that guys over there, which are legends, and uh, it was really, really cool. I hope you enjoy it as well as me. Uh, let me know more information down below. When is, was this? Uh, I mean, I know the year, and it was Christmas time, but uh, if there are some other things that I missed, maybe, or other stories, or other, other things, uh, again, James, for asking this. Thank you very much for, for showing me this, actually. That was the most important thing. And I'm going to, you know, stop talking because it's already a long video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Like the video, subscribe. And like I always say, till next time, stay safe. Coming up next. Aurora, your blood lift 2023.